All right, good afternoon, Crandall High School staff and students. We just wanted to thank everyone for helping us with the safety drill, the lockdown that we did earlier this week. Um, we know it's important to all of us to be safe and to feel safe, and so we appreciate that you took particular attention and did the drill well. We want everyone to know what our procedures are to keep everybody safe. So if you have any additional ideas, always let us know. We're always willing to talk about ways we can continue to keep everybody safe, but we want you to know that it is a top priority for us, and again, thank you for doing such a great job practicing our safety drills. Thank you. Hey, bye, TV, may we go day. Hey, 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 bye, TV, may we go day. Oh, 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 bye, TV, may we go day. Yeah, you know it's the bye, TV, may we go day, day, day. Is that light at the end of the tunnel? Show sure enough. Hey Pirates, it's Wednesday, March the 7th, and it's a great day for another Pirate TV midweek update. I'm Peyton, and here we go. First off, let's watch this video. Woo! Woo! Dusters! Last weekend, the Crandall Gold Dusters went to Houston for the Showtime International Spring Fling competition and came back as grand champs. This makes it three years running for the Gold Dusters. We asked them about their experience and their accomplishment. We have been working so hard. And so, like, just to hear them say that, like, we're, like, we won was just, like, really rewarding. And it was the third time. But we're kind of just awesome, you know, and I love them. And we get up at 6.15 every single morning, up at practice, two hours every day. Being with these group of girls, they're so special, like, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's just been an honor as, like, senior officers to lead this team into victory so many times and to say that, we had an, such an amazing team to do it. We also asked them what's next. Spring show, April 28th, 7 o'clock at the high school gym. Greenpeace! Way, way to go, go ladies. Hey, wait a minute. There was more to it than just winning the Grand Tramp Trophy. Our elite team brought a medium ensemble contemporary, which won runner up. Uh, we got the Sweet Stakes Award and a Judges Award. We got Best in Category Kick, Best in Category Novelty, Best in Category Military, and Best in Category Palm. Then we got three Supreme Awards, and these are awards that are given out to the best uh, style of dance out of the entire competition. So we got Supreme Kick, Supreme Novelty, and Supreme Military, and we got Best in Class Sportsmanship. And not only that, but it was a great experience for the ladies. Probably doing the sing-along version of Pitch Perfect on the bus. <laughs> This trip we got a lot closer and my favorite part honestly was probably NASA. Like making memories with everyone and like having like just watching Vampire Diaries in like the hotel room <laughs> until like one o'clock in the morning. NASA. And NASA. NASA. NASA was pretty cool. <laughs> and that's the rest of the story. Way to go Gold Dusters. But wait, there's still more to the story. Before we actually got awarded Grand Champions, the judges actually stopped announcing and gave us that Best Class Sportsmanship Award. And that's not even an award that they were planning on giving. They just gave it to our, our team because they noticed how loud we were screaming, not only for our team and our girls, but for the whole competition. And they decided to give us that award because they noticed how great we were at just supporting everyone there. And they thought that we deserved it. So I'm really, really proud because that wasn't even a planned out award and we got it and it was awesome so I'm really proud of our team. Now here are some serious announcements from the counseling office. Attention seniors, the Black and Gold Scholarship application is now available online. The application must be completed online only and the deadline is March 31st. If you leave any answers blank or miss the deadline, your application will not be considered. An email has been sent to all senior parents with the link so please ask them to forward you the email sent from Skyward. And here's another scholarship opportunity. The Covey Scholarship is outside the counseling office on the wall. This is due April the 6th and you'll turn it into Mrs. Stamper in the counseling office. Attention all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. If you have not turned in your registration forms to your counselor by this Friday, March the 9th, your counselor will have no choice but to pick your classes for you. There are extra copies in the counseling office if you need one. Get your registration forms in by this Friday, March the 9th. Now that we have the serious stuff out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. 
Food trucks will be back at CHS this Friday for lunches. The Flaming Grill Barbecue Truck will feature barbecue sandwiches with your choice of pulled pork, brisket, pollage sausage, or chicken. Also, the Brazilian burger and loaded nachos. Bellatrinos will be serving 9-inch pizzas. Toppings include sausage, pepperonis, cheese, and veggies. By the way, you can wear your blue jeans with a college t-shirt this Friday, but now you know the rules about blue jeans at Cranell High School. If not, refer to the student handbook. Students who choose not to participate should be in regular dress code. Crandall FFA did quite well last week at the Kaufman County Junior Livestock Show. In fact, we're still gathering up all the information. We hope to have it all together to present to you on the Pirate TV Friday Big Show. Be watching for that. Looky here. Mrs. Farley will be stationed at this place every morning before school and every afternoon after school, ready to sell you your prom tickets. You can purchase them during lunches on Mondays and Fridays through the 21st. Wednesdays, they'll be available during lunch at Rains. Seniors, the next senior meeting will be Wednesday, March 21st, early 4th period. Attention CISD teachers, if your school-issued iPad is collecting dust these days, why not load it to algebra students who could really use it to study up for the EOC? If you loan us your iPad, please disable your passcode and back up your stuff. Your iPad will be returned. Boys soccer beat Maybank 5-0 last night. Edwin Perez with a hat trick, three goals, and two assists. Carlos Rodriguez and Enrique Nahara with a goal each. Victor Perez with two assists and Chuy Ortiz with one assist. Next game is Friday at home against Kaufman. Pirate Baseball and Lady Pirate Softball went to Kaufman last night and took care of business. The guys opened district play by beating the Lions 8-3 and the ladies took five innings to beat the Lady Lions 17-1. Lady Pirates are now 2-0 in the district. Next up is Terrell and Terrell for Lady Pirate Softball and the guys will be in Melissa this weekend for a tournament. Pirate and Lady Pirate track and field will be in Emory tomorrow for a meet. We look forward to bringing you the update on our Friday Big Show. The uh, concert bands, all three bands from the high school went to contests yesterday. Um, that's where they do a concert and a sight reading contest. Our symphonic band got a first division in sight reading. Our top band, Wind Ensemble, got straight ones and sweepstakes yesterday. Very proud of those kids. What's next? What's next? Disney. Got a gently used prom or formal dress? Please donate it to Life Skills. The goal is to have several to choose from and make them available to CHS students who can't afford an expensive dress for the big night. To donate, or if you have any questions, ask Mrs. White in room 119. Well, that's all the announcements we have. Thanks for watching our midweek update.